Hello everyone, this is Max from SSGB Management. I hope you guys are doing very well today. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the maintenance database that I created using Microsoft Access. This database can be used by small business, nonprofit organizations, students, or private use. In fact, this database is currently being used by many small business and big businesses as well, especially manufacturing companies. So in this page, I'm going to walk you through this uh, applications that are used in this database. But before I do that, I'm going to X out of this database and start afresh so that way it can flow. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of the database and then open it back up. So when you open it back up, what you see here is you see uh, the sitemap. This sitemap gives you all the applications that are included in this database. So we have the preventive maintenance, the reactive maintenance, inventory, lockout, tagout, continuous improvement projects, and site maintenance. So let's start from the beginning and uh, walk you through the, how to create a preventive maintenance. So to do that, you have to click the preventive maintenance option. So when you click the preventive maintenance option, what you see here is if you want to schedule it biweekly, you click here. If you want to schedule a weekly, you click here, monthly, quarterly, biweekly, and yearly. So this is where you start the records of each individual periods. So this gives you a way to go through back your records or see which PM is still, still hasn't been completed. So this here is where you populate the PM list and add equipment. I'm gonna explain this in full details in future videos. But today I'm just, I just want to give you a brief understanding of the database. So here we have this clock, which reflect the actual time. So what this clock is for is to send out a notification email every five seconds. So, and here we also have a reminder, as you can see here, we have one bi-weekly PM that's due and here, there's no weekly PM due, no monthly, no quarterly, no biweekly or yearly. So this is this shows every three days for biweekly, and this shows every three days for weekly. This shows every seven seven days before PM is due, and this quarterly shows every four, 14 days before it's due. The yearly, so by yearly is is about 30 days before it's due, and the yearly is about 40 days before the PM is due. The reason why you, they all have individual date is to get you prepared for the PM. I know in some companies you need to order some parts that are required for the PM, so this gives you the flexibility to order the parts uh, and stock up before the PM needs to be done. So the email reminder it gets sent out three days before the PM due. PM is due for every one of the PM. However, this notification is different as I just explained. So we're gonna go ahead and schedule a bi-weekly maintenance. Notice that it, it says one bi-weekly PM due. So after we schedule another bi-weekly PM, you notice that this will change to two. So let's go ahead and schedule a bi-weekly maintenance. So when we open this page here, we see this is the PM that is currently due, which is the notification that, that is shown here. So this is it right here. So as you, this is a, a, a separate page from this one. So you can see that the, call is, the color is darker, it's faded here compared to this. So this is where you add the equipment and this also give you the equipment serial number. So your database 
the all the equipment is just added in a database. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that in uh, future videos. So if you click this draw box, it shows you it shows you the equipment, the serial number of the equipment, and the location of the equipment. So when you click this bottom, but but this drop down button, it auto populates the production area, which is this last column right here. So this is the production area and populates, auto populate this production area. And based on the specific equipment, he allocates the uh, PM description that needs to be done. So in future videos, I'm going to show you how to schedule specific PM description, which is basically right here. This is where you populate it. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to go into that in future videos. So this is where it auto populates. As you can see, we have about three of them on record. Of course, you can have thousands more if you choose, provided you have time to populate all, all of it right here. That way, whenever you come in to schedule a PM, it's already on record. So this is the name of of the person that so I I use Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump, Elizabeth Warren, and Mike Bloomberg. Of course, this is the presidential candidate, so I just use it for an example. So you can put in uh, who is going to let's say Bernie Sanders is going to perform the uh, the PMs. So I say to say Elizabeth Warren. So if you have a service company that's gonna come in and do it, you could also put the, the service company that's coming in to do it. So you have that on record. And here's where you put the notes. Over here, you have part numbers. So as you mean, you're gonna give your specific part numbers, a part for this PM. So this pulls the part number from the inventory records. And the inventory records, I'm gonna show you on future videos how to populate the inventory records. The inventory records also have the cost of the parts. The reason why it has the cost is if you put the specific inventory, it gives you the cost and you can change the quantity, whichever quantity you want. Of course, here I give uh, five options for to put parts. And also, there's an option to put the time that is spent on the PM. And if you put one hour, two minutes, notice that it changed to 137. So if you change the quantity to two, notice that it, it also changes the cost. So the part number changes the cost, increasing the Quantity also change the cost of how much it takes to repair the parts. So of course, this is a PM that is due, that is due within three days. So as you can see, today's date is the sixth, and this is the seventh, which is tomorrow. That is why you see this one bi-weekly. So this hasn't been completed. So just for illustration purposes, let me show you how to schedule another one. So we have an option to come in down here and pick any one of these, just like we did for this one. However, I want to show you a fancy method to quickly auto-populate this same information down here. That way we don't have to spend time filling it out. And it also help if you want to schedule maybe 50, because I know, know that some companies schedule all their PM one time in a year. So this will help as well. So all you have to do is just fill one and come down here and check the next schedule PM. So which up auto populates the one below. So this is if you want to do multiple at the same time. So if you click this, it will auto populate this option down here. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So when I click this, it auto populates this option above down here. So and if you notice that it also auto populates this down here as well. So we have an option to change this to whatever we want. However, we can't change it because this calculates three days ahead because it's a bi-weekly. So when I click, when I scroll down, once I click this, it fills out the next due date. So I can play with this to whenever I want. But just for illustration purpose, we want this to show two. So, and it always shows us three days ahead of time. So today it's a six. So it's eight is including three days ahead of time. So what we do is save and close. And then we close this page. We can close it right here. And it refreshes, it, set, it refreshes. And we'll go back to the preventive maintenance. As you can see here, it changes it to two by weekly PM. So once this PM has been completed, you come down here and click this. Click this, uh, click this, the PM is complete. So this will, this 2 PM, if you click it. So also one thing to tell you is it also sends an email notification, which you can see here, because every five seconds it sends out an email notification. We only send the email notification once. So what it did, you send out an email notification about this PM that needs to be done. So let's go ahead and schedule another one. Well, before we do that, let's save because we already click complete. It shows the form so it refreshes. See? No bi-weekly PM due. So that's because we came down here and click that. So, so this will stay on this page until the date is due. So when the date is due, it falls off this page. So it falls off this page and you won't see it again unless you search the records if you search the records, you, this page shows up. So this page shows blank, but you have to come in here and check this box. If you check this box, it shows you the PM that's already com has been completed. As you can see, this are the two records that I completed. And if you remove the check box, it shows that this there's nothing that's been scheduled. So every record that I scheduled has been completed. So as you mean, we come back here and we uncheck the complete box and we save, we close the form to refresh. We come back in, you see yes, it says I have one uh, week by weekly PM view. Then when I click this and go down here, you see if one of it, the PM falls off. And when I uncheck the box, you see this one shows up. So yeah, that's it for the bi-weekly maintenance.